Hello, loves. How are you guys today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having wonderful weather because I'm certainly not. But I'm not going to complain because um, I have been watching on the news and everything where those horrible tornadoes hit five states. Uh, horrible devastation, loss of life, everything. It's just heartbreaking. It would be heartbreaking at any time of the year, but at this time of the year, at Christmas time, holidays, things that are supposed to be all about family and then you lose some of your family, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Um, I lost my little Chihuahua who was almost 14 years old on the last day of November. And, um, you know, if you know anything about me, my fur babies are my babies and they are family to me. And uh, that devastates me. That hits me so hard. And so uh, waking up to find out you've lost family members or that everything that you have is gone, just like that, just in the blink of an eye, that's so hard. I, I can't, I can't imagine. I'm not going to say I can. Um, but we need to be praying for those people, praying for those states. Um, anyone that we know from there, everything, just send prayers and, and, and money, if you can, to the Red Cross and, and other organizations that helped out in times of disaster. Um, do what you can. All right, so with that said, our weather here in the Northwest has been extremely, extremely wet. We are really getting hit with the rains this year, uh, which accumulates with flooding and mudslides, rock slides, and all that fun stuff. But, um, you ha of course, you have to dress accordingly. <laughs> and this is a was in my handbag video. So I, you know, you have to have a handbag that will hold up to all that wet because it's gonna get wet. And if you take delicate leathers or suede out in it or cloth materials or anything, you're gonna be messing up your handbag. So that's when these kinds of handbags come in particularly well. Now I will say my Dooney and Burke uh, all weather leather, it's, it, it holds up just fine. It gets wet and I can just wipe it off of the cloth and you never know it. It's really, really extraordinarily good leather. So, but, this is one of the fossil Sydney satchels that everybody loves so much if you're in the planner community because they're very versatile and they're easy to hold, you know, pack some stuff in. And because it's coated cotton, this is. Now, they have them in leather as well. They have them in all different kinds of designs. I have a pink leather one that I love, but that's only for spring and summertime. Um, I would not take it out in the rain. That wouldn't work very well. But the coated canvas, I'm not sure if there's this coated canvas or coated cotton, but it's very sturdy, very resilient. It doesn't get dirty easily. I throw this thing around everywhere and it doesn't have a spot on it. Uh, of course, it holds its shape better than just a regular leather one would. So, And once again, I can get it wet, soaking, sopping wet, and it doesn't matter. So this is the perfect handbag for me this time of year. So, let's do a what's in my handbag. I promise you mine's not that exciting. It really isn't. <laughs> but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> we'll do it anyway. First of all, in this little side pocket right there, it's nice and deep. I put my phone. My phone is huge. This is the new um, Galaxy S21 Ultra. I had the Galaxy S9 Plus, and I had it for almost three years and I just ran out of memory. I was trying not to get another one because I like not having to pay that monthly payment, but I just, I ran out of memory. It only has 64 gigs and boom, I used them up. Pictures, videos, files, everything is gone. This one, this little bad boy, she has 512 megabytes. So I shouldn't be able to load it up quite as quickly. Especially since I'm not doing videos on this one anymore. But this has an amazing camera. It's ranked probably the best camera um, phone out there because the camera is really amazing. I thought about getting an iPhone, go with my iPad. But I didn't know how easily it would be to transfer data uh, from, I know, I know you can do it obviously, from a um, Galaxy to, a, to an iPhone. So I just went with 
this. And I mean, all I had to do was set them side by side, open up Luthis and boom, it transferred all my data in just very little amount of time. I love that you can do that that easily now. Um, you can do the same thing with iPads and iPhones. Just, you know, turn, they have a little app, turn on that app, set them beside each other, and boop, they share information. They transfer all your files. I didn't lose a thing. Didn't lose the thing. And I did it on myself. I Or I do my these things myself. I don't take them to the stores. My husband's like, how do you figure that stuff out? I'm like, just because you're old don't mean you can't do things. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. And then it's inside the handbag herself. She has a crossbody handle that you can use. And it has the two zippers that people love. You know, you the kissing zippers from the top and you just go zoop and it opens all the way, but it is gusseted on the side so nothing falls out. So how perfect can that be? And there you, I don't have a lot. I try not to carry a lot. If I do have to carry um, a planner with me, like a doctor's appointments and things, I will pull all this up to the side and slide the planner right down there. But I have my glasses because, you know, we all need our eyeballs. This was a little extra mask that someone had gave me at a store I grabbed real quick, I think at Ross. So I just kept it in there just in case, just in case. But I do have my own little mask and I need to wash them. I have several in here, I think. Maybe not, maybe I'll have a couple in the car. But there's one, and I'm not gonna show you how dirty it is because my makeup is all over everything. Um, Hair brush because I don't just stick with curly. And yes, it is dirty. I haven't cleaned it out yet. You guys are getting the real deal, the raw deal here. So I need to just clean that out. But I don't keep my hair curly, curly, curly anymore. I just, for easiness sake, I just let it dry. And then I take a straightening brush through it and throw up in a ponytail usually. And there she goes. Have all kinds of little hair things, hair things. My little Dooney and Burke wallet. This is this one's perfect for this because it even matches really well. But it's small, compact. I don't I don't like big wallets. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. I just don't need them, and they take up more sp space in my handbag than I need for them to. So that's the perfect size for me. I have a notification. Of course, I have something at the post office I have to pick up. <laughs> that's pretty much a daily daily account medication so I don't die while I'm out on the road. In case the heart starts wigging out, I've got the medication I need. Oh, there's one of my lipsticks that fell out. Just a little hairpin back there. And then here are my keys. So, I got them separated. This is my house key and post office key and all of that. And all of my club cards. We all have to have those these days. And then this, I haven't even took the tag off yet. This is my new Kia. I got it back in May, and I haven't taken any of the stuff off. I just leave it on there, hook her onto a pretty little dolphin so I can find it. I don't, my husband just cannot get used to the keyless entry stuff. I've had keyless entry cars now for since 2016, I think. And he still, you know, sometimes we'll go places and he'll drive my car because I don't want to drive, and he will still be like, where's the keys? I need the keys. I'm like, no, you don't. They're in my handbag. You don't need them. And he cannot remember. He's <laughs> every single time. Every single time. And then these two pockets, you do have pockets here that you can put, you know, um, cards and stuff in if you need to, if you don't want to carry your wallet at all. And, of course, you have your little... Um, key fob finder, hook your keys there and everything. And then these two pockets, I mainly use as a makeup bag. Now, normally I used to carry a, a big makeup bag to stuff everything in there, but it leaves me with, it takes up so much space. And then if I did want to put a planner in there, I could not because, you know, the makeup bag was taking up everything. So I started putting them in my pockets. And I have quite a lot of stuff. I have multiple lipsticks, breath freshener, Laura Geller um, powdered makeup, another lipstick. Uh, this one is by uh, Milani, which is a drugstore um, makeup, but it's a very good one. It conceals and covers great. So I keep the concealer in here in case I need more than the little touch up. Um, 
This is Mark. Let's see, no, this is Clinique. Clinique Happy. Happy Blooms. I think that's what this one is. So I always keep some perfume in there. Okay, slide all that back out there because if I don't, it's gonna go rolling in the floor. And then in this one, <laughs> several other lipsticks. I probably need to take some of these out and put them in my actual lipstick con container in uh, my room. More lipstick. I uh, went and got my nails done and they gave me a pen. Who doesn't love pens? And this is a nice little pen too. It has a stylist on the end. It's like rubber heavy. I haven't even tried to write with it yet. I may find me a little gel insert to go in here because I'm sure it's probably ink and not gel. But yeah, I was like stoked. Hey, score. Charged me $60 for my nails, but I get a free pen. Yeah. And then I have my little makeup putter on her things. I have a brush. I love It Cosmetics brushes. They're my favorite, so I have tons of those, and I need tons more. And then I always have a little scrunchy spongy with me. And some glitter. I just love that color. I know I'm too old to be wearing this stuff, but it's so pretty. And this is some of Milani's uh, liquid eyeliner. This is excellent. This is very good liquid eyeliner. I love it. And then this is just more lipstick to keep me all kissable. But you know when you put on a mask and you're talking all day long with the mask on and then you go to the car and you take the mask off, your lipstick is freaking all over your nose, chin, and everything else. That's not a good day. And then I have this one. This is one of the inner gels pens because I have to have a good gel pen with me at all times. So... That one's a very good one. And look at there. She's empty. And look how clean she still is pretty much. A little bit of glitter and dust in there. But, you know, not too bad for someone as messy as I am. You know, you don't expect planners to be messy. But I am messy simply because um, I'm not just a planner. I'm also a spoonie. And spoonies, we have no energy. <laughs> Therefore, we're messy a lot of the times. I used to be the biggest neat freak. I made my children miserable when they were growing up because I made them keep things clean all the time. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Like when my granddaughter comes over, I just let her get all her toys because I have tons of toys for her here and just put them all over the living room and I don't even bother to pick them up. Just let her play, play, play. And I clean it up slowly, mind you, when... um. She leaves, but for the entire time she's here, she gets to do what she wants. She just makes it as messy as she wants to make it, and I'm all, I'm all good with that. Oh, my TV came on. So sorry. Put that on pause. All right, guys. That is my crazy, messed up, mixed, mixed up bag right there. But like I said, this is a great thing if you live in an area where... You have lots of moisture, be it snow, ice, rain, whatever it is. These these little bags are workhorses. They really, really are. Um, I love the black leather in this. I, I may get one, but it's um, not a pebbled leather. It's a smooth leather, so even that you'd have to be careful with. But these are really nice. And then I actually have one that I like as far as styling goes better. It's called the Rachel. And it's exactly the same styling as this one, but you get two pockets on each side. I have one, but it's a tweed one, and so that's not too great to take out in, that, in the weather either. But um, it has, and this is what I like most about it, it has the buckles rather than just straight leather straps. And I love the look of the buckles, you know. But anyway, for the everything else is pretty much exactly the same. They've had this bag for years. I think it's uh, like the dupe for Louis Vuitton speedy bag. And so they they just kind of change um, silence just a little bit, tweak it here and there. For the most part, it stays the same. So if you buy them brand new, whether they be leather or this material, whatever, they're usually about $179. Uh, always look for sales, wait for them to go on sale. Um, check your buy, sell, trade sites and things like that because that's where you get the deals. And just enjoy yourself. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. 
I don't do these very often. This is only like uh, the third one I've ever done in my entire career. <laughs> but every time I do, you guys love it. I, I, I get it because I love them too. I watch them all the time myself. It's just, I don't, I change my bags out frequently, but I don't change the contents out that, that much. So I'm just like, do I really need to do another one now? Do it. But I did. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share me with your friends. 